okay now in this section we will talk about the, the grids grids here and uh, we will see that how this grid we can play with its properties well the now let's look at the first one this shows the the thickness of the grid block for example if we have the grid if we have this grid so this 12 shows that we have 12 grids like this this one and 500 is the length which length the length of in x direction which is 500 feet why i said feet because we are using this uh, field units so this is the 500 feet say. now we want to change it to 600 so you can change this 600 so in x direction it is 500 in y direction also it is by 500 so this is the story of dxv and dsy here now then we have a ds dzv okay and dzv we have this is number one then we have number two and then we have number three we have three different values y3 y04 or y95 or y06 or y01 like dxv and dzy well in dzv we said that we have actually in z direction we have three layers three so if it is three here it has to be three here also it has to be three here so one two three now this 20 is definitely we are talking about this 20 we are talking about in in feet so it is actually 20 feet 20 feet so if i put in order three layers it will they will look like this one this one 30 50 so the first one this one here is 20 feet this one here is uh, 30 feet and this one here is 50 feet so we have three layers 20 30 and 50 feet here here is 20 30 and 50 okay then this is the story of the length and dimensions of grids x y and z these three now i will clear it and we will go ahead the porosity okay this for example now okay i will talk this one later let me talk about the simplest one porosity 0 0.3 is actually shows the the 30 percent porosity this one is 30 percent percent porosity okay so if i ask you to change the porosity to 25 percent so you can write here 0 0.3 0.25 and run it. Okay. Now, same as go for the Fermi x, Fermi y, the permeability in x direction. This one, this one is the permeability, permeability in x direction. So, how much is the permeability here? It's 500 meters. And for how many cells? 144 cells. That's what it is trying. For the layer 1. And since as I said we have 3, 1, 1, 2 and 3. 3 layers. So is the layer 1 the permeability is 500 and layer 2 permeability is 50 milligrams. And in third layer the permeability is 200 milligrams. In y direction. And this is the z direction. Okay. 50, 50 and 25. This is in x direction for layer 1, layer 2 and layer 3. This is what we have to change it. Now this was the introduction of this one. Now we will play with this property. Let's say I want to change the, the length of the grid block from 5000 to 1000. From 500 to 1000. to 
and uh, the thickness this is 30 so I will change it to 50 and I want to change this to 100 and then porosity I will already change to 0 0.25 permeability 500 is too much I want to reduce it to 200 so I want to change it to 200 and I will save this file and put on it let's see what it does it shows error for me should not show any error actually because you know, the only issue upstairs before in that section was dimension they were not correct but now you see we successfully changed the properties here and without any error. so now if in an assignment or in any project i ask you to put the grid block size 1000 feet in x direction you should know it if i ask you to change the permeability in for layer 1 and 300 milliRG, you should be able to do it if I ask you to change the porosity to 30%, you should be able to do it. And uh, if I ask you to change permeability, porosity, permeability also, you should be able to do it. And the layer thickness, you can change it 20, 50, whatever, of layer 1, layer 2. So this is very easy to use. And I hope that this is uh, makes you a good reservoir simulation. So that's end of the grid section. Then now we will go for the props section in the next uh, lecture.